what up how's it going how's it rolling everybody welcome so today's informal video <laughs> um because i'm still sick but anyway yeah so i had a sinus infection and of course you know being on antibiotics side note if you didn't know antibiotics is pretty much what fucked up my entire life to begin with and is pretty much the reason why i can't eat meat and dairy and all that bullshit because of like the bacterial infection it caused when I was like nine. And so anyway, now when I have antibiotics, it just fucks me up for a good bit. So I'm not, you know, 100% yet. So until I'm better all the way, um, I'm going to be filming this way. Sorry. But anyway, today's video, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about how I was cursed in about, I think it was like January. I think it was January by this person and will not mention their name because I don't want them to be like ha 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 I did this to you I won and then harass me even more because this fucking person thought it would be cool to harass me on I don't know all forms of social media and they placed a curse on me which you know what I broke that shit, so nice fucking try, bro. And I'm going to be talking about how I broke it anyway. Um, now, this is just how I did it. Uh, I'm sure there are, depending on a curse, depends, you know, how a person can break it. So each curse is handled differently. And so while this worked for me, a curse that may be put on you the way I dealt with mine might not work for you depends on you know the curse and all and the person who casted it but so anyway I had no idea like what was going on so background information you know I had my endo surgery my hysterectomy right and that pretty much cured my IBS for the most part Unless I ate something stupid like I shouldn't, like cheese or something. If I was stupid and ate cheese, well, yeah. But I don't eat any of that stuff that, you know, the triggers and stuff that I'm allergic to anyway. So my IBS had been put, you know, in good standing. Wasn't having any issues, really. Um, here and there, you know, I would have stuff going on. But that had to do more with like stress and I'm at the point now where because I have stomach issues my entire life I know the pain and the hurt and what causes each type of hurt so I know like I just know what my causes are and so what happened was <laughs> and I'm not going to get too detailed but um Something happened and then this hater was, you know, turned on to me and, you know, was harassing me on my platforms and thought it would be cool and funny to put a curse on me where um, pretty much I would be in constant, you know, severe stomach pain and having to go to the bathroom constantly, um, like five or six times a day, every day until probably beginning of February, so January to maybe mid-February. Um, yeah, having issues there. And I was doing pretty well with my food and what I was eating, so I knew, I knew it wasn't that. Not to mention the hurt. I know the hurt of when I eat something stupid and wrong, and it wasn't that. And... You know, I was able to rule out each thing and figure it out and then had it confirmed to me in a reading, right? That, yeah, I was cursed <laughs> by this asshole. And, um, so yeah, I don't want to get too detailed in, like, what was going on with me. But let's just say I was not having a good time, like, pain-wise and stomach-wise. It was not fun. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this motherfucker, probably. And I was getting attacked, you know, 
demon wise and it kind of went along with a client too and it wasn't the client the client had nothing to do with it but it's just funny how like this person who was under the influence of a demonic entity for sure i have no fucking doubt about that shit right and it was funny that he reared his ugly head as i'm trying to help the client and it was you know this person actually because they harassed me helped me figure out what demon <laughs> was harassing my client so yeah that wasn't very smart on their end but so it's funny how things work out things happen for a reason while it was shitty that I had to deal with it and the pain and all that stuff, it worked in the way that I was able to help my client. So I guess there is a light at the end of every tunnel. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But so yeah. Uh, so once I figured it out and once I, you know, was validated that it was indeed a curse, I had to figure out where it came from and who did it and why which I was able to figure out really fucking quick because I already suspected who it was. And so I know you can burn sage and palo santo and all that stuff in your house, but typically that takes away negative energy and entities and stuff. But typically it doesn't break curses. Like, I think it can in a way, but not well, this curse it didn't and sometimes it takes more than just those things to get rid of a curse which in this case it did but obviously the one thing I did first was ask Shiva for help I was like hey yo um may I please have assistance here um I know this person did this and I don't want it and I can you please get rid of it for me please so I did that but also um, I like to burn my dragon's blood. If you don't know me, you'll pretty much soon find out that I love my dragon's blood anything. And so, you know, I, I do my cleansing anyway. I have to do it like once a week. I'm actually behind this week. But, um, so I did my, you know, dragon's blood thing. And also, one thing that really helped me, they actually make and... A sell this is okay the person I got this from the seller is called Art of Root and you know what I want to thank Melinda Lyons the uh Last Frontier Medium for showing me this place because I fucking love it okay they have some really good shit and one of the things that they have right I got this bundle set it is uh it came with a dragon's blood candle a dragon's blood soap bar and dragon's blood like oil right so I got that bundle and I actually had been cleansing myself with the soap because it's important that you cleanse yourself and not just the space you are in and so um on top of asking Shiva for help to get rid of the curse situation I had been cleansing myself with you know the palo santo sage but then also I would you know do a bath ritual thing and use that uh dragon's blood soap bar and i made sure to be doing that often <laughs> and it actually helped a lot and it actually helped really quick so i mean that's what helped me with that um also fighting off the entities that that person sent really helped um but this was more on the symbol end. I know if you get uh, cursed by someone who actually knows what they're doing and um, does something very intricate, uh, doing what I did may not help you. Just going to say that right now. However, um, it's a start. You can try it, see if it works. But because this person was under the influence of, you know, a demonic entity, I'm not going to say the name again, because I don't want this person to uh, come back. Well, he probably will anyway, but my ass is ready. <laughs> but yeah, so let's say you guys come 
into contact with somebody who curses you, but um, it's it's not like an intricate or really like tough curse. So what you can do is what I did, what I just said, ask for help from whomever you have as someone that protects you. So Shiva, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, any archangels really, um, probably any Hindu god. Jesus, if you're, you know, if you pray to him, yeah, any ascended being will help you, really. And then you can try the dragon's blood uh, soap bar that I use, and I will link everything down below. And then I did my cleansing of, the sp of my space, because you have to cleanse your space and yourself. Like, yourself is, like, the most important part. But, um, yeah, I thought I would just share that. And I just noticed how fucking chat my lips are. Please ignore that. Um, that's what happens when you're on, like, five different kinds of, like, decongestion or whatever. You, I don't even know how, what, how you say it. I don't even know. But, yeah. So, hopefully, <laughs> this video was helpful in some way. But this was just like a basic way to remove simple curses. Not all simple curses, but it'll help with a few. But yeah, if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. If you know any tips, right, that I didn't mention, hey, please leave them down below. I'm learning just like you are. Um, but uh, actually, who told me? I think, I know Shiva, I think it was his idea, he was like, hey, use the um, Dragon's Blood soap, and I was like, yo, that's a good idea. He's full of great ideas. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Peace out.